Oh, it's that time again. It's King Slayer Hoops, and welcome back to 2K Film Room, where we break down various NBA 2K gameplay. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dallas Mavericks Freelance and how you can use it to play like Luka, to play like Chris Stapps. We're going to get into that in just a second, but for those of you who are subscribers, let me know how y'all like that new logo and the new intro. I think it's pretty sexy, but let me know in the comment section what you think. I'm going to stick with this logo. I've changed it like 8,000 times, but I like this one a lot, so let me know. All right, so we're going to start off in 2KU mode, in the scrimmage mode, just to show you guys what the freelance looks like. Now, again, to set up your freelances, you're going to go to options, substitutions, coach settings, freelance, and you're going to make sure Mavericks freelance is selected. And if we look here, this is the breakdown of the freelance that 2K gives you. Now, the negatives of the freelance are that there are very few post scoring actions. The positives are that it's an up tempo offense with emphasis on ball movement. Types of actions include ball screens, off screens, and pick and rolls. Player examples, obviously Luka Doncic and Wesley Matthews, and this is best for teams with multiple perimeter scorers. Okay, so make sure the most important thing they mentioned in there is that you have to push the pace if you're gonna run this offense. Okay, so let's get into it here with our first option. Okay, so here we're gonna start at the top of the three-point arc. We're gonna swing the ball to Seth Curry here. Luka's gonna sit a pin down. And we're gonna get a three-pointer out of it right there. So we'll show you that one more time. We initiate at the top of the arc. Swing the ball to Seth Curry. Point guard's gonna go down, set a screen. And then your power forward's gonna come up and knock down a three. So you do want a stretch four for this freelance, by the way, as you can see right there, it is important for some of these branches. But anyway, here's a second option to score. Gonna see we end up with Luca knocking down a three out of the wing. Here's a replay of that. So we're gonna swing the ball to the wing. Luca sets that pin down screen again. If we don't take this three, then Luca gets a screen set for him and he knocks down a nice open three pointer. So here's another option. We initiate again from the top of the three point arc. Luca goes down, sets a screen. We're gonna swing the ball. And then there's a double pin down screen here that leads to a nice easy midi by Kristaps Porzingis. One more time, we start at the top. This is just a replay of that last branch. Swing the ball, swing the ball, and then double pin down screen. Sometimes we'll get a three off of this one, but Chris Stapps didn't leak all the way out to the three point arc. But that's okay in this case, this is just an example. Okay, so again, we start at the top, swing the ball. Now Seth Curry's gonna come up. We're gonna swing the ball back to Luca. Then there's gonna be a screen and roll with our shooting guard, who is Seth Curry in this case. So we'll show you that one more time. Swing the ball to the wing. Seth comes up, we get the ball back to Luca, and then Seth sets a screen. You don't get a lot of guard on guard pick and rolls in this game, so that's an interesting option there. Here's another branch out of the same Mavericks freelance. So we're gonna get it back to Luca here. Chris Stapps comes up. We reject the pick and roll, swing the ball. Yeah, this is a complicated one. This is going to take up your entire shot clock, but we'll show you this one one more time. So Luca is going to swing the ball. It's going to go down, come back up. Going to receive a screen, but we're not going to take it from Chris Stapps. We swing the ball. Luca comes down, sets a screen for Chris Stapps, and he gets a nice, easy midi. So again, that branch right there is going to take up your whole shot clock, but you had a few different options to score in there. So here's another branch now. This time we end up with Chris Stapps in the post and we hit a back cutting Seth Curry. We'll show you that one more time. So Seth Curry comes up, Luca goes to set the screen, but we're not worried about that on this branch. We get it down to Chris Stapps in the post, Seth comes around, under the basket, easy layup. Okay, so we are not done. This freelance has a lot of branches. We're gonna go with another one here. This time we're initiating from the wing. So we're gonna swing the ball over to Tim Hardaway Jr. Double pin down screen there. Luka Doncic for three. Show you that one more time on the replay. So again, we're initiating this branch from the wing. We're gonna swing the ball. 
pin down screens there. Luca open three pointer, bada bing, from downtown. So a lot of three point opportunities from this freelance. Let's show you another one where you initiate from the wing. Double pin downs here, but instead of the double pin downs, Chris Stapps is gonna come off of that single pin down screen. So that's a tricky one. We'll show you the replay on that again. So it's, we're faking it like it's a double pin down. You could see Chris Stapps setting the screen there, but then he's gonna actually come over that Tim Hardaway Jr. screen and knock it down. Again, stretch bigs are critical for this freelance. You need stretch bigs in order to run this effectively. Okay, another branch. I feel like this is going on forever because there are so many options here. This is your classic Luca step back opportunity. So we're gonna swing it here, the screen, and you get that step back right there. That is money, online, offline, don't matter. Okay, two more branches I wanna show you guys and then we're gonna show you some online examples. All right, we swing the ball. We get the ball right back to Tim Hardaway Jr. And look at that, a nice cutting opportunity out of this one. So nice and simple. We get the ball to Luca. Luca gets it right back, nice little give and go. He gets inside and throws it down. Easy score and one more for the road. We initiate this one in the corner. We swing the ball around. And as you could probably guess, there's gonna be a pin down screen involved like a lot of these branches. Finney, Smith, four, three, butta, bing. The replay, you could see it right here. We swing the ball, Seth Curry, pin down screen, Finney, Smith. And that is all the branches I got for you. Before we get into online gameplay, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you found this helpful. I try to promote sim gameplay on this channel, so if that's something you support, be sure to hit the like button. And I do read every comment, so be sure to leave a comment below. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, guys, now for the fun part, we have online gameplay examples of this Maverick Freelance. I had a lot of fun playing with Luca and Chris Stapps Porzingis in this game. And we played against one of my favorite teams this year, at least, the Miami Heat. So let's get right into it. So first thing I want to emphasize, if you're using this team, you want to use defense to offense, push the pace as much as possible. The Mavericks run a fast paced offense. We spin, we get the assist, easy bucket. Now we go into the actual half court freelance. Porzingis from mid range, but a bing. Easy one for Chris Tapps Porzingis and the assist to Luka Doncic. So you're going to see on this one, oh my goodness, what a pass. Did y'all see that pass? Oh, I'm hyping myself up here. That was a beautiful pass. I wasn't even ready for it, and I'm the one who threw it. Unreal. Pick and roll opportunity out of that freelance, and it's Luka to Chris Stapps again. So you can see we're really getting Luka going as the playmaker in this offense early on. Pick and roll opportunity again. Ugly, 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 ugly lob there. <laughs> I, I really hate that animation. That's one thing that I wish 2K would take out of the game, but that's okay. We move along here. Gonna show good defense to offense once again. Luca pushing. We get it up to Brunson with the floater inside. And they're gonna have to call a timeout. They're calling a timeout. They need to get it together. Spolster gotta draw something up because it ain't working for him so far. But back to the Mavericks freelance in the half court once again. Gonna swing the ball to the wing. There's a pin down screen. Nothing there, but we get it inside and Chris Stapps draws the foul. So Mavericks freelance working nicely. Could see here, we're gonna isolate a little bit, but use that freelance. We know that our man's gonna come up here. So we got a wide open baseline, taking advantage. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, we put him on skates there. Luka Doncic, beautifully done. Gonna pass the ball around again in the half court. Having a lot of fun with this Mavericks freelance. There's that screen. There's a three, butta, bing, from downtown. And speaking of downtown, check this one out. Out of the Mavericks freelance right here. Give me the green light. That's right, Tim Hardaway Jr. with the green light from downtown. So many three-pointers from this freelance and in this game. Floater there. 
Most of our scores have not been that easy. This guy was actually good on defense. You can see he's actually holding me to 33 points, so that's pretty good on his end. He just can't score. We're holding him to 19 ourselves, so another easy score off the Mavericks freelance inside. Pick and roll action. On this one, we swing the ball. Here's a screen. Boban. Boban Marjanovic, star of John Wick 3. If any of y'all saw my boy in that movie, let me know in the comments section. What a great cameo. But anyway, we continue here. We're up by 20, one more score, and... It is time. That's right, Rafiki, it is time. Our boy quits. And that's gonna do it for today. I had a lot of fun with this freelance. Let me know what you guys think about it, if you use it. Again, if this has been helpful for you, please. Leave a comment, subscribe, there will be more like this. And let me know what you think about my new logo. I've changed my logo a million times, as I said, so let me know in the comment section. And until next time, happy gaming, y'all.